Wrestling fans, we are three weeks away from the fifth largest pay-per-view on the WWE's calendar year. Three weeks away. And what did WWE bring to us tonight on Monday Night Raw? What did they really bring to us tonight? Well, first of all, I thought we were going to get lucky again. I really did. I thought we were going to get lucky again before I even get in to this Monday Night Raw review. I really thought we were going to get lucky because I thought that since we did not see this superstar last week and he had absolutely no direction going into Money in the Bank, we might just get lucky this week and not see him. But no, no, wrestling fans. We had to see the most miserable superstar on WWE television, especially on Monday Night Raw, and that is Almighty Creedly. Who has went from Leo Rush's guy to Shane McMahon's guy? And that's all I'm going to say about that. Because I'm not talking about Shane McMahon, The Miz, and their steel cage match. Because that is crap. No one wants to see that garbage. Get this rivalry over with. Done. Comprende. WWE. It is disgusting. Shane McMahon sucks as a bad guy. The Miz sucks as a good guy. And nobody wants to see The Miz's dad on WWE television. Period. Now, wrestling fans. That I have that out of my system. Let's dive into Monday Night Raw and what might actually interest you. Okay? And throughout this review, if you enjoy anything that I am saying, down below, hit the subscribe button. Hit that little square box and become a subscriber today. Would be much appreciated. Join me on this journey here on YouTube. If you haven't yet already, I really do not know what you're waiting for. And go back and watch anything you missed. Be much appreciated. Now, let's move on. We saw a contract signing between Seth Rollins and AJ Styles tonight. Samoa Joe and Rey Mysterio. Look, I do believe they are building towards Rey Mysterio versus Samoa Joe at Money in the Bank, in which in which they will do exactly what they probably would have done at WrestleMania if Rey Mysterio had not been injured. And that is Samoa Joe dropping the United States Championship to Rey Mysterio. I think that's coming, wrestling fans, at Money in the Bank. I really do. You all let me know what you're thinking about that in the comments below. But Samoa Joe, once again, losing on WWE television tonight. Samoa Joe, once again, looking like a useless champion in the WWE. Rey Mysterio having one of these uh, stories with his son where he's going to look like this awesome father in the end, holding up a mid-card title at Money in the Bank. Wrestling fans, it's coming. If you are a Samoa Joe fan and you do not want this to happen, what can I say? I'm sorry. You might as well just start griping now. Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, wrestling fans, look, Vince, I think you're telling Sami Zayn to go out there and 
and and spit in the face of all of your hardcore fans that tune in whether your product is good or whether it sucks. Oh, and by the way, by the way, okay, the customer, Sami Zayn, is not always right, number one. It's not the way I was taught. They are, are, can be wrong with respect. The only thing is, in WWE's world, they treat us, they uh, treat us where we're wrong, not respectfully. They insult us sometimes. Let's be honest here, okay? And, and, and speaking of which, okay, Sami Zayn, we are entitled, we can come out either on social media, on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, if we want to, and voice our opinion. WWE likes that anyway. Now, I like the, uh, Sami Zayn being a hill. Don't get me wrong about that. But WWE's having him go out there and insult the wrestling fans that really is uh, carrying their product on USA every Monday and Tuesday nights. Because I'm not seeing any casuals, judging by the ratings, watching these shows. Wrestling fans, I didn't know Vince, Triple H, and uh, Shane, for the most part, was going to take the night off because we had a general manager in charge tonight in the name of let me holla at you, Plata. Holla, 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 holla. Theodore Long was back on Monday Night Raw. Just kidding, okay? He wasn't. But we had four, counting four, tag team matches on Monday Night Raw tonight. Four tag team matches. Wow. 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 Four tag team matches. That's either lazy booking or you just didn't have anything else to do with these superstars, so you decided to have a tag team match, player. Ha ha. You know, wrestling fans. When you look at what they did with the money in the bank on Raw's side, Braun Strowman, Ricochet, Drew McIntyre, and Baron Corbin. Really? That's who you put in the money in the bank? That's who you put in money in the bank? Braun Strowman, the monster among losers? Braun Strowman. Now I said that 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 you usually have one big huge monster in the money in the uh, money in the bank when I was predicting who would be in. But I did not. I did not wrestling fans predict or even want Braun Strowman to be in the money in the bank matchup. Who wants that heap of garbage? I don't, and I'm sure you don't either. This is crap. The Monster Among Losers. 
What I want is Lars Sullivan, somebody that can actually benefit from it. What is Braun Strowman going to do for with this match? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Baron Corbin, the general manager amongst losers, a person that's get off my TV worthy, a person that gets go away heat. We don't want to see you on Monday Night Raw heat. Instantly. Simply because of how WWE creative booked him at WrestleMania 35. Will he get anything from this match? Nothing. No. Zero. Comprende. Nothing. Ricochet, will he get anything from this match? Pretty much what Shelton Benjamin always got from this match. A lot of nice, huge spots. And they will start weeding out Shelton Benjamin's Money in the Bank spots that they always show each and every uh, time Money in the Bank comes around. And they will start showing Ricochet spots instead. It will be a nice accolade for him being in a Money in the Bank higher match. But do I expect him to win? No. And if Drew McIntyre does not win this matchup, this is useless for him. Period. Bar. None. None. The Viking Raiders. Okay, uh, okay, they went and they destroyed the Good Brothers. Uh, I, I I think I think that's who they destroyed. I don't know. No, I got that wrong, wrestling fans. They destroyed the Lucha House Party. How many weeks are we going to see this now before we get tired of it? Usos beat the Good Brothers. The one good thing out of this is the Usos took damage from the Good Brothers and it wasn't an epic squash fest. Becky Lynch and Lacey Evans brawling. If Lacey Evans wins... The Raw Women's Championship at Money in the Bank. I'm going to gag. Somebody that's barely been inside the squared circle since being on the main roster. Rumored that Becky Lynch is going to lose both of her titles at Money in the Bank. If that happens, it's just proof. It is just proof. That WWE gave the fans hashtag fans mania by changing three titles. Three titles. Rollins winning the Universal title, Kofi Kingston winning the WWE title, and Becky Lynch winning in the main event. And then they say, forget you. Wrestling fans, it's back to normal. It's back to what Vincent Kennedy McMahon wants. You all tell me I'm wrong on that. Go ahead. Somebody down below tell me I'm wrong on that one. I'm begging you. If Becky Lynch loses both her titles at Money in the Bank, that's what that proves. If Charlotte beats Becky Lynch at Money in the Bank, 
I don't want to see her as a 10-time women's champion, but that proves that she's there to carry SmackDown and Becky's there to carry Raw. Simple as that. The Fireflies. The Firefly Funhouse. Okay. I still don't understand the direction that Bray Wyatt is going in. He is happy, jolly, go lucky with all his freaky toys. But, uh, I. It's different. It, it's different. <sighs> this Monday Night Raw, I tell you what, it was better than last week's. I'll say that. It was better than last week's. But to say this Monday Night Raw was like really good, uh, I don't know about that. But it was better than last week's, you know. We didn't just see the same match over and over again. I really didn't want to see the uh, opening tag team match. Strowman and freaking Ricochet versus McIntyre and Corbin and what in the world was Strowman talking about when he couldn't when he said that uh, 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 when he said that McIntyre and Corbin would not be able to take out the monster among men because the monster among men is going to make them get those hands and all that crap when before WrestleMania, he was in a rivalry at, with them, and he was getting taken out by them each and every week. Don't believe me? Go back. Lay the waste all over the still steps. Lay the waste. By those two and almighty cringely. Seriously. Seriously. Ron Strowman, you made zero sense tonight when it came to that. Ron Strowman, you made zero sense when you said that, oh, you're uh, going to be a two-time monster in the bank. Yeah, you are going to be a two-time, possibly a monster in the bank, and you'll be a two-time loser because you lost your last money in the bank. Dude. So stupid. <laughs> Whoever writes for these guys, you make them sound like complete just you make them sound so stupid whatever it's pretty much monday night raw i hope you all enjoyed it and if you did give me a big thumbs up you know if you enjoyed this review any part of this review Remember to give me a big thumbs up and a huge comment down below would be much appreciated as well. And join me tomorrow for a SmackDown Live review. We'll find out who else is going into the money in the bank. We already know those four and we already know who's in the women's money in the bank on Monday Night Raw side, which is... Dana Brooke, Natalia, Naomi, and Alexa Bliss herself. Why Dana Brooke made this, I do not know. Making me want to cringe. I probably won't even watch the women's money in the bank simply because of that. Unless SmackDown Live pulls off something great tomorrow night. But we'll have to wait and see because the women's money in the bank does not look too, too thrilling 
right now with who they uh, uh, named uh, so far. But we'll have to wait and see what happens tomorrow night on SmackDown Live. And until I see you again, this is Webby, and I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.